We all know many apps and websites track where we go online, even in real life. Well, if you have an iPhone, then, well, now you have an option to ask mobile apps not to track everything about you. But what does that mean? Our consumer technology reporter, Jamie Tucker, explains in tonight's What the Tech. No one wants to be tracked or followed online or in real life. And when Apple forced apps to ask for our permission, 75% of iPhone users said, no, don't follow me. And it's having a big effect on advertisers and Facebook. You'll see the Ask App Not to Track option when you install a new app or when an app is updated. By selecting Do Not Track, Apple restricts the app's ability to track what you do on the Internet, which apps you use, what you Google on your phone, which games you're playing, pretty much anything you do on your phone. Now, that's a big hit to advertisers. If a home and garden business near you takes out a Facebook ad, rather than paying for an ad that reaches 2.3 million random people, it can spend less and reach only potential customers customers in the area interested in DIY projects. And according to new research, advertisers are now pulling money out of iOS apps and spending more on Android devices. Facebook even claims do not track not only affects small businesses, but warns it might lose so much revenue that Facebook one day may be forced to charge people to use Facebook and Instagram. Now, we should mention Google and Facebook can still track you if you're using those services on a computer or an Android phone. And even if you ask apps not to track you on an iPhone, you'll still see ads. They just may be for things you're not interested in. That's What the Tech. I'm Jamie Tucker. Some app developers are searching for loopholes in the Do Not Track feature. Apple's warning those companies, though, if you don't abide by the rules, those apps are going to be removed from the App Store.